Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber, Timber! Lodge. <laughs> Coming back at you today with another awesome video where we're going to be taking a 5,000 round comparison view between the PSA Dagger Micro Magazine and the Shield Arms S15 Mag. So let's jump right into this. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you have either a Glock 43X or a Glock 48. And one of the first things that you want to buy for this pistol is going to be some form of a 15 round magazine because Glock is currently only selling these pistols with 10 round polymer mags from factory. And why not? If you can get 50% more ammunition in the same size magazine, I'm all for it. Capacity is king Hail when it comes king, to conceal and carry everyday defense situation. Am I right? I don't know. I definitely think I'm right. And I think the sales for these two mags definitely say I'm right as well. But I've shot nearly 5,000 rounds between all of my PSA Dagger Micro Mags and all of my Shield Arms S15 Mags. And I wanted to talk to you about the pros and the cons for both because they both have some pros and some cons. So let's take a look at the PSA Dagger Micro Mags first. The PSA Dagger Micro Magazine comes in either a black or slick finish, which you see in this video. It is a 15 round flush fit magazine meant to replace the OEM factory mag and uses a polymer overmold over the metal body. All right, now, Let's talk about the Shield Arms S15. The Shield Arms S15 magazine is currently on its third generation of providing 15 rounds for the Glock 43X and Glock 48. Its metal magazine body and base plate have been upgraded through each generation. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, what's the big difference in between the PSA Dagger Micro magazine and the Shield Arms S15 magazine? Well. One of the main differences is the fact that the PSA Dagger Micro Mag is actually a direct replacement for the Glock 43X or Glock 48 factory magazine, meaning you don't actually have to swap out any parts on your pistol in order to get the magazine to work correctly. Whereas with the Shield Arms S15 magazine, you do. Let's have a look. The magazine on the right is a Shield Arms Gen 2 S15 magazine. The middle mag is a Gen 3. And the magazine on the left is a PSA Dagger Micro and a slick finish. You'll notice the polymer overmold that goes over the metal magazine body, whereas with the Shield Arms S15 magazines, they are solid metal. The pistol on the right is my Glock 43X MOS, still fitted with the Glock Polymer Magazine release button, allowing me to safely use Glock Polymer mags or the PSA Dagger Micro magazine. The pistol on the left is my standard Glock 43X, which has been outfitted with the Shield Arms metal mag catch, allowing me to safely use an S15 magazine. For the longevity of both your pistol and the magazines, you do not want polymer rubbing against metal. So you're probably thinking to yourself that the PSA Dagger Micro Magazine is the clear winner between these two. Well, maybe, but also maybe not. I mean, it is very convenient not having to swap out the polymer mag catch with a metal magazine catch like you do with the Shield Arms S15, which also allows you to be able to still utilize your Glock factory mags when you're at the range. But where the Shield Arms S15 magazine actually outshines the PSA Dagger Micro is the fact that Shield Arms has a lot of accessories for these magazines, meaning extended base plates. They currently have a plus two, a plus three, and a plus five extended base plate for the S15 mags, meaning you can get 17, 18, or even 20 rounds into a magazine for your Glock 43X or your Glock 48. And that's pretty awesome. Now, why choose the S15 versus the Dagger Micro? Well, I can tell you this. The S15 is a lot more readily available, meaning Shield Arms isn't the only one selling the S15 magazines. Shield Arms has cut deals with places like Shields and other retailers to sell the S15 mag, and it is everywhere. It is easy to find. Now, the S15 magazine is going to cost you substantially more money than the Dagger Micro. 
And you're also going to have to purchase a metal mag catch to use this effectively, safely, and not deteriorate your pistol or the magazine over a long period of time. So why not choose the Dagger Micro? <laughs> it's cheaper, you don't have to swap out the mag catch, but good luck finding one of these online because that's the only place that you can find it is the PSA website. They don't distribute to retailers. They only sell from themselves directly to the customer. And that is one of the reasons why these are so much cheaper than the S15 mags is because they're cutting out the middleman. But for whatever reason, even though these are such a hot commodity, they're not making enough to supply the demand. That's a reason why you might choose the S15 versus the Dagger Micro is because you can actually find these. In addition to the fact that you can do extended base plates to increase the capacity of your S15 to 17, 18, or 20. I want you to come with me and we're gonna go shoot the crap out of both of these pistols with all of my Dagger Micro mags and all of my S15 mags and have a good time. Let's go. With the Glock 43X traditional and the Gen 2 Shield Arms S15 mags. I've never had a problem with these Gen 2s. Try out the Gen 3 S15s. Now, I did have some issues with these when I first got them, but I sent them back to Shield and they fixed them. My Glock 43X MOS with the PSA Dagger Micro Slick Magazine. I've never had any issues with these either. They just run. <laughs> no issues. Killing that target. <laughs> got the traditional Glock 43X and one of the what I call the S17 mags. It's an S15 with the two round extension and we're shooting at 10 yards or 30 feet. Issues. <laughs> Just because this is America, I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> oh, 15's out. Gotta love those two extra rounds. <laughs> <laughs> 